All right, so the Leafs lose. Babcock gets fired yesterday. I'm not happy because Babcock is a Hall of Fame coach. But I'm happy for the team because it was obvious the team had sort of given up on him or, or quit on him. And I hate to use those words because I don't believe athletes actually quit. But the effort just didn't seem to be there. It looked to me like he had lost the dressing room. And, and once the players don't believe in the coach anymore, they, they'll be out there playing. But they're just not all in is what I guess I'm trying to say. They're just not doing everything they can to grind it out and get that win for the coach. Now, I'm not saying the Leafs are a grinded out team because they're definitely not. They're a skilled team. But my big issue is the Marlies and the Leafs, they're supposed to have the same system, the same philosophy, much like the Raptors and the, the Raptors 905 do. And that's why the players can interchange so easily between the Raptors and the 905. And that's what, in theory, it should be like with the Marlies and the Leafs. However, I see two different, totally different coaching styles. Babcock seemed to me, not, I'm not in there, so I don't know for sure. This is just my opinion on this. It seemed to me like Babcock would try to make the skilled players buy into his philosophy and his way of thinking on how the game should be played. And Sheldon Keefe with the Marley seemed to have them playing a more aggressive, uh, a, commun a very communicative, uh, a lot of off the puck movement on offense, uh, a little more positional game than Babcock was. And I think in all sports it's very important because to me, a man I hate but respect at the same time, Bill Belichick, in my opinion, the greatest football coach of all time, no doubt about it. Um, he coaches to his players' abilities and gets players who fit in to the way he likes to coach and, and the abilities that his current players already have. And that's why he seems so brilliant and that's why he is so brilliant in my opinion is because he's able to, to bring up and raise a player's level because he knows what they're good at and he tries to bring out what they're good at instead of changing them into something he wishes they could be. And, and I think that was the big problem with Babcock and the skilled players with the Leafs. When you have those skilled offensively talented players you, you need a you need to set some solid stay at home defensemen or, or at least one forward per line that is a little more lockdown stay at home cover that high slot in the des defensive end and, and whatnot so it, everybody has to be at blame for Babcock getting fired yesterday it, it's on the players because they still they're getting paid good money to show up and play every single day Babcock being a little stubborn in my opinion Dubas I think is a little stubborn as well. He kind of got the ball rolling and I think a lot of the tension in the in the dressing room led to the players play as well, not just Babcock's way of thinking. I think when you there was so much media attention and everything on on the dispute and disagreements between Dubas and Babcock, sorry, I can't talk. Babcock and Babcock and some of his star players and how he certainly, I heard a couple of the on-air sports guys locally here talk about like, oh, I lost my train of thought there. But how it's just, it just pains me because if Babcock's a Hall of Fame coach, the Leafs are struggling so bad. I've been watching these defensive struggles. Zero playoff wins since, what, 2004? It's been a disaster being a fan of this team since... 1977, 78, the youngest game I could probably remember when I was four or five years old, going down live to the old gardens and watching a bench brawl between the Broad Street Bullies and the Leafs. That's why I'm a Leafs Flyers fan to this day because of that game, the first one I went to and, and seeing that. I also remember seeing Bob Orr when I was young. But, but the Leafs, I hope you get it on track. Sean Keefe, you got a lot to fix. You need to get some offensive creativity going with this team. You need to fix their power play, fix their penalty kill, because that's a big issue in the playoffs the last three years, losing to Washington and the Bruins twice in the first round. The special teams was horrendous in all of them three series. So you got a lot of things to do. You got to get a defensive system set. You got to get Freddie Anderson some help. In six games, the backup goalies for the Leafs have let in like 24, 26 goals. 
it, it, it's just a disaster with the backup goalie situation. Figure out a better rotation, a better pattern, or something that that might spark them or give the backup goal goalie whoever's going to be running in the net with the salary cap situation. It could be a continuous change, or they could just stick with what they got. But you, you got to find a way to get the backup goalie's confidence. Babcock, you are a Hall of Fame coach. It wasn't working here in Toronto. You had to go. But I wish you nothing but the best. Peace.